Hey, what's up? So in this video, we will talk about shallow equality and re-rendering in React and Redux. We will start by talking about map state to props. So first thing, this function is used to select data from the store and pass it as a props into a specific component. It will be called each time the state changes. So if you have a hundred component connected uh, to the store and the store changes, all of these functions, the map state to props functions and the hundred components will be called uh, each time the store changes which is uh, something really nice to remember. So it receives the entire state, and this is the first argument. The second argument is on a props, and it should retain a plain object. And this actually, or this object actually, will be used to determine if this component needs to re-render or not. And this is actually possible by comparing the previous value being retained with the current value being retained. So connect behind the scene will save each value being retained, and in the next time this function being called, it will compare the current retained value with the previous retained value. And it will do a shallow comparison between the two objects, the two plane objects. And in this example, I'm retaining four fields and each field containing just a primitive value, string, boolean, number, also a string. So connect behind the scene will go and loop over each field in the previous or in the old object and compare it with the current object. If any one of these fields changes, the component will force to re-render. So it will check the values of each property inside the object. This is actually uh, the way that connect will determine if this component needs to re-render or not. So this is the actual implementation of that shallow equal. So they, oops, they are using the is function. This function actually, in case of objects, it will try to find if these two objects uh, referencing the same location in memory. If that is actually true, it will return a true. So uh, I'm pretty sure this function are used in a lot of places, but what we actually care about in our, the current context is these, these lines. So first thing, they will check if the previous retained object keys length are not equal to the current object being retained. Of course, the, links, uh, the keys length. So in that case, they return false, which means something new have been added to the uh, retained object. So this component should re-render. Or they will loop over the keys. And so if we reach here, which means two objects have the same number of keys. So we will loop over that those keys and just like try to access the value and determine if all of these values are true. So, or are equal, we won't return false. We will come here and return true, which means the component won't re-render. So I have here a link. So it will point you here. But uh, there is the is function that you will see is being used a lot here and here. Uh, it's current is actually this function here. It's inside the object global variable. And this actually determines whether two values are the same value. And it will behave, di it will behave differently based on what you pass. So if both values are undefined, it will return a true. If both values are null, it will return it true. If both values are true, it will return it true. Both values are false, it will return false. So if both values are strings, same length, same character, same order, it will return it true, otherwise false. So, and this is actually very important. Both this or both, both the same object, meaning both values references the same object in memory. So in case of objects, it will look at the memory location. If the memory location is the same in both objects, this will return true. Else it will return false. This is why in these examples here, if you pass to the is function two plane objects, each one of them are or has a different location in memory, this will return false. But if you do this, define an object and compare it with itself, because it, of course, obviously, it has the same memory location to return true. Or if you do this, assign it to a different object, and this object now will point to this object, original object. And in that case, the is function return it true. The same thing applies with arrays, on arrays. So, and there are some edge cases like, uh, like plus, plus zero or minus zero, which also this function uh, handles. But what does not handle that is the triple equal uh, comparison. So plus equal, is it equal to minus zero or plus zero? Sorry, is it equal to minus zero? This will return true. It should return false. But object dot is will it actually return false? 
So it will handle these kind of cases. I think this is why they are using this. Of course, alongside with uh, referencing the, the same memory, uh, the same object in memory. Yeah. So I hope this was like straightforward. So basically, just to recap, map state props will be called each time the state changes, and each time that happens. React Redux should determine if this component or the component connected should re-render or not and it does that by shallow comparison the old retained value from map state to props with the current map state to props retained value it will do a shallow comparison so with that being said I also I commented here these two lines so let me return them uh, I think they are here so in this case I am retaining an RJ and in this case, I'm retaining a nested object. So in this kind, if the, in this case, the component will always re-render because this array and this nested object uh, won't always have the same reference in memory each time this uh, this function being called. And you can actually see that here. So they will try to see if these if these two properties have the same or is equal, like we see in these examples. So one and one is equal, and in case of arrays and objects that are nested inside the retained value here, uh, this will always retain false, and then we will retain false, and the component will actually re-render. So just make just remember that these cases happen. So if you're retaining a nested object or a nested array inside this kind of object, the component will always re-render when this actually being called the map state of props, and we have this. The same exact behavior with react.memo. So just remember, if you are trying to create a pure component and passing to it an array, uh, this will be useless. Because shallow comparison, which is, by the way, in react.memo react and in the map state of props inside with connect, will work this in a similar way. So passing an array or a nested object inside the props won't, like, will remove the purpose of react.memo. So just remember that. So if you are using, if you are creating a pure component, try to pass primitive values as much as you can, because this shallow comparison function won't actually go inside any nested values and try to check if they are equal. So they will just use the is function on each each field in the object, and that's it. Now the final one is the use selector hook from React Redux. This is how you use it. You will give it a selector function. And you will give it an equality function, and this is this could be the sh the same one as here, the shallow equal. But let's just continue. So the selector will be called with the entire Redux store state as as its only argument. Okay, the selector, and this is very important. The selector will run whenever the function component renders, and even re-renders. So unless its reference hasn't changed since a previous re-render of the component. So the cached result can be retained by the hook without re-rendering the without rerunning the selector. So what this means, and they are talking about this selector, the first argument. Each time the functional component that you are using this hook inside re-renders, this selector will be defined again, the selector function, and the use selector will use it again. So to, to, to prevent that, if you want to prevent that, use the same reference of the function, and you have two options. I have here some examples. The first one is you define the selector outside React or outside any component in React. So you define it here, for example, at the root level in your file, and this will always have the same reference. Then you can use it, like example, like for example here. Or if you are, if you are, if you depends on some props passed to the component, and at the same time you need to have a minimized function, you can use use callback like here. So here I am using the, the ID from the props. So I defined a use callback function and I just used it here. Okay, let's just continue. This is what that uh, means. So the selector may retain any value as a result. Map state to props, should, you should always retain an object. And here uh, it's different. So not, uh, not just an object, retain value of the select, the retain value of the selector will be used as a retain value uh, of the use selector hook. When an action is dispatched, use selector will do a reference comparison of the previous selector result value and the current result value. 
If they are different, the component will be false to re-render. If they are not the same, the component will not re-render. Okay, that's fine. But the thing is, use selector uses a strict triple equal reference equality checks and uh, does not uh, does not shallow uh, compare the retained values because it does not know if you will retain an object or not, right? It could know that, but you, it does not know that. So you need to actually write your own shallow compare function or just pass the default one, which as you can see, you can import it from React Redux and just pass it. If you are retaining an object from your, from your selectors, for example, in this case, remember my post selector will actually retain the post from the state, which is something like this. So this is an object containing body ID, stuff like that. And if I pass shallow equal as a second argument, it will behave as the same as this function. So it will compare each field. If one of them uh, changed, it will force the component to render. So that's something uh, very nice to remember. So uh, and here is some stuff. So you may, you may some useful stuff. You may call use selector multiple times within a single function component. Each call to use selector creates an individual subscription to React Redux store to Redux store because of the React update patching behavior used in React Redux version 7, a dispatch action that causes multiple use selectors in the same component to retain new values should only result in a, in a single re-render. So you can use multiple use selectors. That's what this uh, paragraph means. Paragraph means. So with map state props, all individual fields retained in a combined object, it didn't matter if the retained object was a new reference or not, connect will just compare the individual fields with your selector retaining a new object every time will always force re-rendering. Uh, yeah, it will always force re-render by default. If you want to retrieve multiple values from the store, from the store you can call your selector multiple times within each call retaining a single uh, field value. Remember we said at the first, uh, I th yeah, we said here that each each value being retained, it will be, uh, your selectors will use actually the triple equal to determine if the previous value equal to the current value. If they are equal, it won't actually re-render the component. But in case of objects like we are talking here, you can actually use multiple use selectors and just retain each field you need and that's it. And this will behave the same. It won't force the component to re-render unless the values have changed. Or use reselect. This is a memoization library. Uh, if you are interested into that, or use, like I said previous, the zero equal function from React Redux as an equality function argument to the use selector. And this is an example or examples about this. So I'm, I'm selecting the state or selecting this post, and this is an object, and using the shallow equal like to prevent the component from re-rendering so yeah that's it i hope this was actually useful i'm not sure maybe i won't post it uh, so yeah, just remember this stuff so i think that the very the most important thing here is if you are passing arrays or nested objects inside the props uh, to as a props to another component uh, memo won't work because it won't go and compare those. And in case of use selectors and map state of props, also retaining a nested array or a nested object uh, will be pointless. It will always cause the component to re-render. So try to avoid that if performance are a concern. If not, uh, just ignore it. Um, yeah, bye.